All right. Big big Targ back in the building. Big Tragic Magic. Yeah. That's good. How you guys doing? We're doing terrible. How about you? Um, you got me all squished over here off the damn camera. Come here. Just, on. just came out of a IBJJF Jiu-Jitsu tournament. Tark Mortal right here. Mortal Kombat so. tournament. Sure. Got legs touching all close. You can't even pull the shirt off to show it. You just wish it was too tight. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was loud, actually. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I know that hurt. <laughs> um, okay, so we finished talking about soccer and stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on all the time. Let's talk. Do it again. I dare you. Uh, I want to get into something that I saw that's cracking uh, right now in the uh, National Hockey League. That is a nation of the United States of America. Um, (laughs) For the first time ever, they will be celebrating Black History Month, which is more than Caesar's doing. Um, They're doing this is an article that was on ESPN.com. ESPN. Yeah, yeah, ESPN.com. the NHL will celebrate Black History Month for the first time, shifting its focus in February from its wide-ranging Hockey is for Everyone campaign uh, to emphasize racial diversity in the sport. The League and National Hockey League Players Association will announce the joint initiative Friday morning. Um, well, that was a few days ago. That's cute. Um, it includes a traveling mobile museum devoted to the history of minorities in hockey, predating Willie O'Ree breaking the color barrier in 1958 and leading to the present day. It's pretty recent. Uh, <laughs> um, as a part of this Hockey is for Everyone um, is expanding it to year round March will be a gender equality month and the plan is to add acknowledgement of Hispanic heritage and First Nations next season there are roughly 20 black players currently on NHL, NHL rosters roughly? can you guys yeah that's interesting can you guys name any black players in hockey I know how they look like Damn. <laughs> do, do they all look the same? What's good? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Might be the same yeah. dude. Okay. <laughs> now, oh. I'm going to keep it real about this. Well, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got some more to say, but can you name any of the black players? Either? I can't off the top of my head. I'm going to say I can't. No. You, you don't know P.K. Saban? Oh, yeah. P.K. Yeah, Saban. Yeah, I forgot yeah. one had a yeah. wild name. Uh, okay. Um, P.K. Saban's not a wild name to you? He's Canadian. Um... Okay, who is this? Uh, the executive vice president of social impact, um, Kim Davis, said that there is strong minority representation at youth levels, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, she said Cap. that I think... <laughs> <laughs> she said, I think a focus like this during Black History Month will affirm those many kids of color that are already playing our game. Cap. I think we often underestimate the pipeline of talent that is already involved in our game. Mm-hmm. Um, Captain. USA Hockey only recently began collecting data on player participation <laughs> by race. Uh, wonder why. <laughs> oh, geez. I mean, I want to get it in on this. I, okay. I don't know why you keep reading an article. We get it. They're going to do a museum okay. for a Black History Month. First of all, there's multiple caps about this. Let's just keep it a stack right now. Hockey is probably one of the most expensive sports in North America to sign your child up to. Have you ever? Extremely you, high what rates. What about in Canada? No, I. I don't know talking about Canada. I'm so talking about America, America right now okay, because you said North America. So, so, so okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In Mexico, I'm sorry. I, I mentioned you thank too. You, thank okay, you. well, America. I'm gonna get into some hockey. And defender. Panama okay. and Honduras. So, that's so North America as well. Ask a lot of parents out here what the base rate of getting their children started in hockey is. It's insane. It's pretty high already. It's already pretty can I ask high. A question? Can I, ask I a question? know what the motive can behind I this is. Can I know you can't ask a question. You talk for. You read the whole article okay. word for word. Okay, go ahead. The cap. This is all a cap. This is to me a ploy. You trying to get some people in here celebrating diversity in the sport, even though it was thirty years ago for the first guy I got yeah, in come there. On, thirty years okay, ago, okay, forty two. And the thing is, is like yeah, it's Matt, it's all a, it's all a cap to me. It's all a cap in order time. just to just sit in there. <laughs> and or, it's a cap to me. I I don't I don't okay, believe in that. I don't believe in Can that. Can I ask a question? What What does hockey being expensive have to do with Black History Month in the NHL? What 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 is the, what is the correlation? Because they're there? talking about they talk about I specifically mentioned eighteen thousand things. Black people re- poor and they can't afford. I'm hockey? trying to talk. You specifically mentioned that they're trying. There's there's tons of outreach programs or whatever's going on in hockey to what to for for everybody to play. Is that what it said? Something about everybody playing. Is that what it said? Caesar, you're not even listening to your boy. You just want to hate on hockey. They're talking about celebrating. That's cap to me. That's whack to me. I don't so think that's. Cap? I don't think that's cute. They're, that they're celebrating Black History Month. You don't think that's, that's a good based thing? Based on what? You got ten dudes, and all of a sudden you want to front like you got Black History in your sport now? That's whack to me. Yo, well, some so, other sports. So, so wait a minute. So, what other sport? Name them. Then. Okay, well, hold on. Should, you want to talk? So, so, so wait a minute, Caesar. Should they <laughs> not be celebrating Black History Month? Uh, the, like what? Yeah, I guess not. Why is am I gonna bat? Am I gonna lose sleep tonight over it? 
Did we even know what like like what's going on here? Either. In 2014, mm. uh, PK Saban scored that game winning goal. Against, Amazing against the Bruins, and he was getting a lot of racist tweets. They were doing racist chants. Well, uh, what are you reading? What are you talking so about? So you're reading this? You looked this up about this Caesar, whole situation? I remember that. I remember that. Oh, okay. Here you go. Yeah, go ahead. No, again, yeah, read, what up. I, what read I did, it up right What now. I did look up is that he's actually dating <laughs> Lindsey Vaughn, the skier. <laughs> this is literally irrelevant, but go ahead. <laughs> go, go, keep on going. Black History Month. Lindsey Vaughn, yes, keep going. Caesar. Caesar. She's considered like the greatest American skier ever. Okay. Um, well, I think Michelle Kwan was better. That's a gymnast. I mean, a, a ice skater. This is I'm talking about skiing. Oh, my bad. Jeez. I'm Brazilian. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> um, PK Didn't Subban, Lindsay Vaughn like have two ACL tears and like two know. Olympics in a row? I don't know. Um, PK Sabal was getting a lot of racist tweets from the Boston fans. I remember that too. And, and okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. So I think that they're doing something good to say to show like a diversity inclusionary uh, things within their professional Look, league. Call me. Call, uh, I'll call it what it is, but you're being me, cynical. No, I'm, maybe I am, but I think that there's. The, I don't think the intention there is to spread awareness about African American African American players historically African playing in Canadian African Canadian Afro Canadian. What are you doing right now? Because it's Canadian. I'm not talking Show about him. Respect. I'm not. Ta- I'm talking about the 20 other alleged players. And you even said uh, around. They couldn't even give me a real number. They couldn't say 22. They said probably around 20 guys. We don't know yet. We're figuring out. And we have a bunch in the U- lower levels. Oh. What? Because in the lower levels, they're starting to take uh, they're starting to take polls on the demographics down there. Yes. Oh, get out of here, it's Caesar! I don't even dude. know what this you're... is. A cap to me. I don't this even know what you're, to... you're. Okay. Know anyway, so this is okay. like MLS, man. This is whack. okay. Tark, what do you got? What do you think about? Tark NHL? don't know damn nothing about hockey. Okay, <laughs> Caesar. Okay, Tark, what do you think about NHL celebrating Black History Month? Because Caesar hates it. I like it. Why? Yeah, because. <laughs> 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 Because I still think, regardless of oh deep voice, Tar- <laughs> sorry, Tar- uh, Tar- 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 he was at a concert. He was screaming. Yeah, <laughs> I was at the uh, Mortal Kombat convention. You were at the uh, Takashi <laughs> tribute concert. <laughs> you're at a, you're at a you're at a Twenty One Savage <laughs> <laughs> British <laughs> a free free Twenty One rally. Yeah. Um, no, I just like it because you know, like you said, regardless of you know whether Caesar thinks it's a cap or not. They're over here, you know, whether, you know, whether, you know, no matter what their intentions are, they're here promoting Black History Month. That's still, you know, more than, you know, what I see in other sports. Yeah. I mean, N- NFL ends before Black like, History Month starts. Yeah. I mean, all they what, did. What do you think? Like, <laughs> don't <laughs> shut up. Are you kidding me? Like, like, let's make this early in February. I mean, I mean it's, it's still, you know, it's, regardless of, you know, okay, roughly 20 players, at least you're. Kind of bring some kind of awareness, and you said there's also other things they're trying to bring into this season and next season. Yeah, yeah. So they're trying to, you know, they're not only they're trying to say like, okay, hockey's not just for, you know, a certain demographic of Canadians. Yeah. It's you know we're trying to bring everybody in there. Yeah, yeah. Canadians. <laughs> well, they're mostly Canadian. They're mostly I mean, Canadian. there's like they're mostly two Canadian. teams, three teams up there. The players. Oh, the players. Okay. Right. Jeez. Yeah. So all the Canadian, all the all the most of the most, players are all Canadian. The, all yeah. the black players are from Canada. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Look, right. most I want to see this PK tribute. I want to see this tribute, and it better not be. It better be a low inclusion of of of, of a United mm-hmm. States Black history and all Canadian Black history. That's what it better, it better be. be if okay. we're so adamant about, it's all about the Canadian Black history now. My so, bad, so, I'm so, wrong. So, so, so then it will be okay if it's Canadian. Black Absolutely, because now we got that's what that's because you said majority Canadian, right? Okay, Caesar. Let me just. Okay, Tark. I don't want to cut you off because Caesar's right. wilding out, and I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know why he's so mad. Like, <laughs> yeah, like for real. I'm over it. Caesar, Caesar. I'm over it. The I'm over everybody Caesar, trying to Caesar, jump Caesar. on the Caesar. train. North. Uh, jo- <laughs> Caesar. America. Uh, North America. Uh, let's say uh, uh, America. United States of America and Canada is becoming more diverse. Would you Would you agree with that? Absolutely. The NHL is trying to show that hey. Obviously, when you look at our sport, it looks like this, like Tark was saying, a certain demographic. But we do have these other demographics, and we want to show other people that may be interested in the sport. Like, we are accept- like we're not trying to p- keep you guys out. We're, we, we're trying to show you that we are affirming your uh, presence in this league, and we want to celebrate your presence in this league. What's bad about that? Well, that's actually great. <laughs> I don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So I you agree just, with you. I agree you with just, you. I agree with you. Did I say anything different than I said before? Yes, I think you delivered it wrong to me earlier after you All read right. for three pages. But I think that if the, if it's about right, talking right. about how you know 
the sport a lot the common the common misconception of the sport is just all like Russian players or or Canadian players or white, that are, white, or Russian, white players white Canadian, and yeah. to show that you know we do have some some heritage that the date the black history and we that'd be really cool I think it's a great idea you're so <laughs> annoying dog okay anyway talk back to what you were saying so you think it's I don't a good understand thing? how on yeah. a show I can't agree with something I disagreed before I start uh, earlier Boy, would you yelling that hard. I'm in the back here, far from the mic. Me too. <laughs> no, you're really close to him. I gotta talk really close because my voice. Oh, okay, relax, no, um, Rick Ross. No, like <laughs> you're not a, like Hawk. You're, you're a fake Kings fan. Yeah. Ooh, you I are. went to. Okay, Tark, name, name three players right now. <laughs> I can't name any players right now. <laughs> how, many teams can, they how, trade... how many teams can huh? you name? Huh? Ah, uh, let's see. You got the Kings. You've got the Ducks. Yes. You've got the Sharks. Okay. You've got the Edmonton oh. Oilers. Okay. Um, I, I meant that you named the Sharks when you said Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> Why was that the team you knew the full name of Edmonton? Um, wait, wait, where are the Sharks? Uh, San Jose. Okay. Everybody knows that. Um, you've got... Uh, Who do I have got? The Dallas Stars. Oh, okay. Um, oh. You've got... That's five. Um, is it... Was it the Blackhawks? Is it the... Mm-hmm. Uh, was where? it Pittsburgh? Where? No. No, 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 no. Where were they? Chief Keef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got 10 seconds. Uh, I'm not going to remember that one, honestly. Chicago. Is it Chicago? No, wow, no. That's, that doesn't count. I'm going to um, save my friend. <laughs> so. Okay, you got, you no, got no, five. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Five right now. Chicago, Blackhawks. Okay. Pittsburgh, Tampa Bay Penguins. Tampa Bay First of all, I had NHL. That's what it was. I used to play. Oh yeah, I used to, uh, Calgary. It's a good game. Dude, NHL is always a fun game. Detroit Red Wings aren't even mentioned right now. Shout out Detroit Red Wings. Long Island something. Uh, <laughs> uh, Islanders. Yeah, I think so. Um, New yeah, York no, Devils. I, actually, New Jersey Devils. New yeah. Jersey Devils. I'm sorry. Actually, um, I really like to watch hockey. The only the only reason I don't like to watch it on TV is because you can't see the puck. Yeah. Okay, okay. I remember like years ago they had the puck highlighted, yeah, on, but everybody was screaming about it. I thought I, it was I, great. I, Caesar, I actually was watching hockey. I was back yeah, then. me I was too. Like, oh, that's great. Cause I, I was like, oh, this is good. They but, should bring that back. That was I good. Should, I think they should. On t- on TV, or, you can't see it. Or even if you don't have a, if you don't have, okay, this is gonna sound kind of wild, right? So normally the hockey sheet is always a white, you know, right? Like, what if they did like a different color sheet and they made the puck like a, like a color that sounds like a light up or like a white? You or mean the rink? Puck. Yeah, the sheet of ice. The it, like, typically it's white, correct? The rink. Yeah. Yeah. But it's on a sheet of ice, correct? The rink. I'm sorry. Rink. Is it a sheet of ice? Hey, what's the thing called where they do to uh, to uh, polish the ice? What's that called? The Winnipeg? <laughs> hey, no, the machine. It's called um Zamboni. Zamboni, yeah, yeah, Zamboni. Right. Yeah, you yeah. probably looked it up somewhere. No, I don't know. Phone. My phone's in the room. <laughs> Fun fact: I've driven one before. Okay, that's cute. Okay. Um, but so, so we're all in the green. So them celebrating uh, Black History Month. Absolutely. Thing on the yeah, I think, yeah so. I think that's dope. Yeah, me too. Um, okay, guys, yeah. we had the uh, biggest American uh, sports event of the year. Um, MLS Cup. <clears throat> yeah, just this past <laughs> weekend. Um, the Super Bowl between uh, the Patriots and the Rams, Los Angeles Rams. Um, guys, oh, and <clears throat> before we get into this, we had our first Jewish Super Bowl MVP in Julian Edelman. Do you think he deserved it? No. No. Who do you, who do you guys think deserved it? The kickers. The kickers? The punter. The punter? Yeah. Caesar, who do you think? Um, uh, I believe the, the referee in the New Orleans L.A. Rams game. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be serious. Here. No, but um, I don't think, okay, I actually think. Five foot five. I'm a, I, I think I think it's kind of a lot. Edelman had a really good drive that play. I think he played really well in that drive. You know. Okay. But Edelman kind of does what just Edelman does in general. He's an extremely reliable player. Uh, um, possession one of the typical uh, Patriots possession receivers that just always get the damn ball all the time. So who deserved the MVP, dog? Because was the first the, Jewish player to get it. I don't think it should have been Edelman. Because honestly, if you watch, because if you watch the uh, the replay, if you watch the highlight of all his you know catches, mm. he was wide open in the middle. Which is the same thing that but they did if, against the Chiefs. But, but what if he created no. space to become white? No, it, no it was just it was just the, the play call on defense. Oh, I was damn. watching. So was, y'all, y'all didn't do nothing. Yeah. Look, no, I'm just saying. Like, I want to know who Caesar thinks should be the MVP. I okay. I don't think it was anybody on offense because I think the offense was just shut down on both ends. It was, I mean, it was first. non-existent on the Rams, but it was shut down on the Patriots end for the most part. Yeah. But honestly, a lot of the times the kickers are were setting up a lot of those like really bad positions on the field. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, and the field goals were actually pretty lengthy. Like those field goals, what? Like one of them was like fifty-six yards or something like that. I have no, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I, okay, I'm gonna keep it real. So, be, I don't want to give it to Edelman because 
I don't think that productivity alone was the bright point of the game. Like the highlight wasn't anybody's mm. overall productivity. For example, like To had the 200 mm. 200, 200 yard game yeah, that wasn't happening today. So I thought it'd be good to highlight what I thought the most important possession of the game was. I thought the most important possession was where Gronkowski caught that ball. I think it was like a twenty or thirty yard out, and then it was. I, I don't know if he scored or I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, was like no, but I was, thought that was one of the biggest plays of the game. That was huge. That one, I was or, like, if anything, to me, that's like an MVP mm. play because that mm. I think that was a third down also. So that was a huge play. After all those series of weird flags they were getting, I thought that was a huge play. So Gronkowski, so, yeah, I, that that Sony, I think or Sony Michelle because he was actually you know he's pushing. He got some. I know, but he he, he, he got some of those yards though. He yeah. got some of those yards. He scored the touchdown. And his name was yeah. wild. I think he, is he Haitian? <laughs> Probably. Um, or Brazilian. I just want to say, okay, yeah, <laughs> it'll be his first name if he was Brazilian. Um, what? I just want to say that. Um, Jared Goff is trash. He is. And and and, and I look, I only watched like two football games this year. But both of them were with Tark and it was Joe yeah. the Rams. Yeah. I watched wow. the Rams Saints. Glody. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Jared Goff and I'm like it, when we watched him against the Saints, I'm, like I noticed. I'm like, "Yo, like this guy has one read on all these plays." And I'm like watching, okay, like maybe I'm tripping, but I'm like, "Yo, like there's literally one read." He's yeah. hiking the ball, and there's one guy for him to pass it to. And I'm like, he ain't a rookie. Yeah, he can't He's like three years. For, forget forget mm-hmm. reading a defense. This guy can't even make a, a, a two uh, a route read. And I was telling yeah. Tarek, I'm like, you do more than that when you're playing seven on seven with your homies yeah. on the street. Like you be you you if you're playing corner, you get three routes. Like you do go you go deep. You go short, you go medium, medium. slant, post, yeah, deep threat. Yeah, exactly. It. I'm like, you, and you're going to look at all three if you can. Yeah. This dude's literally hiking the ball with the one read. He's he, trash, overrated. He's not a leader, and he's weak, and yeah. they deserve them three points. In preseason, they had a lefty quarterback, and they bring him back. Ooh, five yeah. foot five. Yeah, they had a lefty quarterback. I want him back. Yeah, I'm was, down. Yeah. You a like, Rams fan? I, no, I'm definitely not. <laughs> okay. Like I understand having, you know, they say like they say, okay, on average you only have two reads because of the time you have before you get. You oh, know. stop! But, but like four no, reads. That is no, the biggest no, BS. But in no, history. some people will try to make the argument, but they, they don't the know what is, read no, is no, then. No, no. Regardless of that, but uh, like the thing is, he's not even scanning the field for those two reads that he has. He's I've, not scanning the field. Literally, as soon as he hikes the ball. Every play, he's already staring down the yeah, receiver he wants yeah. to go to. Yeah, watch every single top five quarterback in the league. Every single top five and quarterback has five. some have, yeah. has some of the, have some some of their best plays are when they've looked at the primary options not there. And sometimes they do that just to look off the safety because yeah. the safety's stupid enough to jump Jared on just Goff a look. Can't even yeah. write the sentence. Look, look off the look, safety. He can't even pump fake. He can't even pump fake. No. He didn't pump fake the whole no. two games. That one time. There was, there was no. no there was one play where this is all he did was. He already, you know, he's already getting ready to hike. He's already looking over at the receiver on the right. He hikes the ball. He looks left, and he's like, "Oh," uh, and throws it right away. And I'm like, "Dude, that was the worst fit. You're not, you're not gonna fake the safety at all." And even then, like, you didn't need to because all the other receivers, you could tell the receivers weren't turning around. The, 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 They're like, "We're not getting the ball. There's yeah. no point. Let me just run." Yeah, the interception he threw. I'm like, "Yo, the dude's probably like, oh, I'm not getting the ball. So I'm yeah. get play to get the ball." Yeah. And Jared Goff probably threw it to the wrong first. They probably read. they probably know when they're about to do the route that oh, this is this mm-hmm. play. Oh, it's gonna go to the quarterback. Oh, it's gonna go to the wide receiver. Oh, it's gonna yeah, go to the tight end. I'm not even gonna run. He ain't gonna throw to me. Yeah, exactly. Like you already know he's not throwing it to you. Yeah. Or they're gonna run. There's not gonna well, look. Which... Get, that's why they really get, didn't get any good wide receivers in offseason. Like he can't throw it to them anyways. Well, he's wild. <laughs> It was, I mean, and, and then his one option that he had was Cooper Cup, and that was like usually his, huh? or, yeah, his third option. But he just ran the slant. He just ran the slant Cooper most of the time. Cup? Tar- tar- going yeah. too hard now. I don't know who the hell yeah, you talking Cooper about. Cooper Cup. He, he, he t- um, <laughs> don't say Cooper Cup like we're supposed to know who Cooper oh, Cup God. is. This dude was a baller before he tore his ACL. You, you just played Madden. No, it's you his, like the more Madden. No, it's his second. It's his, hey, this year was his second year. He tore his ACL. Oh. He's a white receiver. Oh yeah. But he was he was balling everybody out. He was Put that D in there this month. Balling everybody out. <laughs> Let me look at his stats right now. It's less than forty yards on my screen. There was no. a couple guys. They they have some good receivers on their team. They had some fast dude I seen yeah. on there like oh my God, three or something. His name was Cup with a K. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How many? How many? Uh, One day. <laughs> he had. He had <laughs> he had 500 yards this year. Yeah, he got injured this year. That's why uh, I'm looking at last year. He did have 800 last year, though. That's decent. Yeah, as okay. a third, he was a third option. He's been in the league for two years. Well, Jared Goff is weak, and like yeah, you, you already know why he's going to get promoted as some good quarterback. But he's not a leader, and you know what? Like oh. Sean McVay is probably a good coach, but like you need somebody that can make two reads. Like you need yeah. somebody that make two reads at <laughs> least. And, and but I but but, that, but that's even bad. Like I remember <laughs> Christian Ponder. Uh, uh, 
run with uh, what, what did what did Migos say? Ponder. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Ponder. <laughs> um, what's his name? He 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 used to be just like running the him and uh, the another guy from the uh, Jags. I forgot his name. Uh, Be, uh, Blake Bortles. Be, no, no, no. The other oh. the guy before him. Oh, Blaine. Um, no, Blaine Gabbert. Yeah. Blaine Gabbert. They would just run the ball all the time. They were so scared. Yeah. But like. It was different because they're supposed to make the reads and they just can't do it. Jared Goff is getting like the training wheels offense. Hey, hike the ball. And this mm. guy, like, we're going to have enough protection and this guy's going to get, like, have a good enough route to where it's either going to be incomplete or you're going to get the pass him. And that's yeah. the wackest thing. You can't win no championship like that. Yeah. And the only reason they were there is because that damn horrible pass interference uh, non call the right. week before. Yeah, yeah. Cup, had, Cup had 100 yard game this year. <laughs> five foot five. Third option now. Definitely, oh, definitely, yeah. definitely a third option. Yeah. But um, no, but like, like uh, I was talking to someone today about it too, and they were talking about oh maybe he's it's because he's so used to the three you know like the whole um like with the way he steps back he didn't have as much time but he was saying that's still not an excuse because like as a quarterback as you know as someone who's supposed to be in a three step drop you right. can make two reads yeah you can make two reads in a exactly and he's saying even you should be able to do a two step drop at least to adjust like. You should be good enough to do that, especially if you're supposed to be a, a Super Bowl caliber quarterback. Yo, like playing quarterback on that level, like, you I mean, you have to be like some kind of crazy savant because you're making the read as you're dropping back in a three step drop. You're looking to see like where players are coming from, where the blitz is. You're calling that stuff, a lot of that stuff before the hike, like before you uh, snap the ball. Jared Goff can't do any of that. At least if you can't do that, at least be like Mike, Mike Vick and just be able to run, run. fast. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, and he didn't, he didn't even try that. That one play where he literally oh he ran God. out of the pocket and then just, the, oh the linebacker came up to him and didn't even, like, he made it obvious he wasn't going to tackle him. All he did was, and Goff just dropped on his knees. knees I'm like, dude, out. he barely tapped you. Yeah, you, that was, that you was had, weird. And then on Maybe top of that, paid. yeah, and, and uh, right when he touched him, like if he just literally stood there, all you had to do was take one step to the left. Yeah. And you had a receiver who was got open for you, who adjusted his route, yeah. ran a slant because he, I think he ran a curl route or something, but he ran a slant the other way to go with you, got wide open. I want to know why Caesar's hating on you naming routes. <laughs> why is Caesar such a hater and just start naming routes? You're such a hater. I see you over there. You were sent a curl. Caesar's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's but I'm just but he like he had that one receiver wide open. Nobody Jared was Gulk guarding him. Trash, and he he what he decided to do like oh I don't like he said because he had that one read the one receiver that was running with him wasn't open so he's like oh let me just drop on my knees yeah like you one you could have gained like pause two yards at least or you could have passed that receiver who would have gotten you six seven yards then the other time when he ran out of bounds he was just like looking straight oh my god he like, literally stared so he stared at the sidelines yeah He's, i'm like, like you're it, terrible he was like over here like trying to like pump fakes while staring like what is aaron aaron Rodgers could throw about 60 yards when he's running like that yeah really? he's he done so many i'm falling out of bounds 60 yarders yeah and i'm like mm -hmm. oh, that, i'm like somebody's gonna catch that ball jordan nelson's gonna catch it's that it's annoying ball. yeah yeah you know you know the green bay should have got who they should have got your boy and decker Eric Decker? Yeah. I love Eric Decker. Oh, he's a baller. Whoa, whoa. Okay. What, did he do something? No, no. Oh, he's a baller. He didn't have that long hair. Five <laughs> foot five. <laughs> um, okay, guys, uh, there was something else uh, that I saw. He made me a knight. <laughs> it's still online. Um, something else I saw during the Super Bowl, there was a, uh, a, a dope uh, commercial, a Toyota commercial, um, that featured Tony and Antoinette Harris, a.k.a. Tony Harris, Relax. Um, she wants to be the first woman to play in the NFL. Um, on Wednesday, this is uh, in January, um, she moved a step closer. She got a scholarship offer from Bethany College, an NAIA school in Kansas. <laughs> Relax. You know you used to watch the NAIA tournament <laughs> on the basketball. Um, you're like, oh, damn, I know that school. Let me watch for like five minutes. <laughs> um, she's... <laughs> She, she plays free safety for East Los Angeles College, junior college. She'll become the first. She's uh, one of the first female non-kickers non on a college football ro roster. And maybe the first to receive a scholarship offer. Is it their ad with Trina Williams? I don't know. I, honestly, I just saw it. was a Toyota bit. ad. The one where it's like, Trina Williams oh, in it, right? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think it was because I was okay. watching an ad today. Okay. Um, it was just the one where Toyota, like, they were saying, oh, they said I would never do this. 
They said there was, and oh, she was like, Every, everyone's full of assumptions. And Tato was like, yeah, everyone's full of assumptions, but not us or something like that. Okay, and then they showed a Prius. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's going to be heading to Bethany uh, College, and um, they're the Swedes, I guess, in Kansas. Okay. Um, there was a little bit about her history here that I saw. Well, um, <laughs> oh, she's 5'7", 164. Um, she missed the first... Oh, she's from Detroit, that's right. And uh-huh. she played... Um, at Redford Union High School in Michigan as a receiver and a cornerback before being moved to free safety. That'd be dope. She was, I wish she was a quarterback. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, she's a safety. Uh, she at least, least it's the most protected position in the league, too. Who? Quarterbacks? No, corner. No. Corner. Oh, they said yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, never mind. Um, she's saying that her ultimate goal um, is to excel at a four-year university and become the first female NFL player. She, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. Like she's she she doesn't have great size. Um, yeah, but when, I, when she, you she'll said, grow a little bit more probably. I hope so because I heard when you said that she's 165. I was like, oh geez. Well, yeah, but she's still young though. She can fill out. No, yeah, but I, also honestly, in my opinion, even if she doesn't, you know, have to gain that weight, if she has, if she still has the speed, the way the NFL is like becoming nowadays on defense. You've got all these like hybrid players. She don't even shake, don't even shake oh. your head. Right? No, because I know this because I've been paying attention. Yeah, you, you have just, it. You just, you want 65, no. so you're trying to hope for yourself. <laughs> no. You're trying to help yourself to get 165 no. or like you get out there. Way above 165, but um, 165. way no. above? Above. <laughs> okay, way above. Um, five is way, right? Five, five plus. Five pounds does not count as way above. <laughs> but um, like a lot of these, a lot of these defenses are actually looking for more of like speed and like being able to hit rather than trying to get like size because like. They want to be. Able, they want players that can keep up with these receivers. They're using linebackers sometimes to guard receivers. What well, What we need to know is our forty time. That's what we need. Yeah, because yeah. that's keep, what I'm let's, saying. Let's keep it a stack here. Let's keep it. Because because okay, let's name some of the three best free safeties in the NFL right now. Right now. Right now. Or this in recent. You can give me recent history. We said or corner. Cam Chancellor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he's a strong safety though. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, like, uh, a, for, like a real free safety. Uh, like Thomas, Earl Thomas. Thomas. Earl Thomas Eric was. Barry, allegedly. Eric Berry. Allegedly, that, that was barely one. That was sort of. He got sick though. He had cancer or something. Um, mm-hmm. and what, what's another one? Tarek. Yeah, that's free safety in the league. Another free safety. Mm-hmm. Give me a third. Me. <laughs> the thing is, is uh, one, of, these, one of the McCordy brothers uh, maybe are they pretty good? They just won a Super Bowl. One of them. McCordy. McCordy. One McCordy? of the McCordy brothers, Jason or Devin. One of them. Yeah. Don't play safety. My thing is, is like I'm. I really. I'm not trying to be like. Well, it sounds like you are, but go ahead. I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything like that. And you I'm are. not saying just like you can't strive for dreams or you can't accomplish it, or you can definitely prove people wrong, including myself, who I am nothing. I'm not a pundit in the NFL. I don't know. I'm nothing in this league. The thing is, it's like, you know, those metrics, like, they mean something. I mean, you could always develop, have the 40 time is really important, too, the band mentioned, because the only way to counter not having physical attributes in terms of strength is to have speed, because yeah. speed, you can generate power. Yeah. But the issue is. Is like if you're not running like a four four or four five out there at, at safety, I'm gonna keep it real. Like like yeah, like you're like hard, you're gonna have a hard time. time. I mean, mm-hmm. let's just keep a sec. Let's look at some like receiver. What what's Alshon Jeffrey? Like that dude is huge. Yeah, <laughs> that's a huge receiver. Well, she's still young. She's still as, as, no, I I agree. I'm just saying. Like I hope that like is dedicated to that because it's cute that that you that like someone could be like, oh, you know, she's still match up and and get uh, uh the the third option receiver who's got kind of small or whatever, but. Even some of those guys are also built too, like and like like the thing is, is that your free safety, your job is not to just cover the third option receiver. Like your job no, is no, to cover no, no. wherever side the ball is gonna go and you're gonna handle it, or you're gonna have to stop the run. Yeah, yeah you get the running backs one on one. You want to you yeah. want Marshall to come barreling down that lane back then? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just you know I So you don't think she can do it. Okay. Um Wow, I'm, wait. <laughs> NAI <damn. laughs> that That'd be dope. Four, That'd be dope. Right. That'd be dope. I actually now now I'm like now I really want to see like a female quarterback. That'd be dope to me. I, I think feel it's like a, I, I feel like a quarterback have a better chance of like a, uh, some kind of a corner or something like that. A or corner? Some, no, I think a quarterback. Quarter. Yeah, I think, quarter. I think me somewhere. too. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, because um, yeah, like like maybe yeah. even a running back too. Yeah, maybe a lot of these you don't need to be that big. You don't need to yeah, be super fast. No, you don't. Yeah. You just have to hit the hole. Look at Danny Woodhead. Yeah, look, look at the, look at the, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, what's that Patriots one they got? Uh, I don't know. Some uh, buck, buckweed. Yeah, something like that. Who knows? <laughs> even like I'm like, where did they get this guy either. from? Of course, well, I'm you don't have to be that big. I was like, like, like of course, how, I'm a Patriots. How tall did you say she was? She's five seven. Five seven. Yeah, what, like Devontae Freeman is like five eight. Yeah, no, you know? it's an advantage to be short, but but uh, whatever. Drop Devontae Freeman's height in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a hater. So <laughs> mad that I know stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I'm rooting for her, honestly. It'd be dope. Me too. If, if she can get, I mean, like I said, I think if, go farther than if she can Sam. expand her ability, but like beyond just being like a safety or a corner, like even if she can like learn how to do like linebacker positions, linebacker positions are starting to get smaller. This is true. This is true. You know, yeah, but five seven, y'all, come on now. She's, I know. No, but it's more yeah. than one sixty five. It's more than one sixty five. Yeah. I mean, damn. and and, like, and you said, and like you said, and no, and like you said, it depends on her speed. The linebackers are now they're trying to get no, smaller. She's but five faster. seven right now, but she's gonna be, probably be like five nine, probably. Yeah. But one sixty five, you can't really do that. But if she can get, no. if she can get to like one seventy five, because you and got, and got, she has that speed. I mean, I'm not saying I was anything, but when I was younger and I was I was thin frame, I had a hard time getting off them blocks with them linemen. It was yeah, but hard. You're weak though. She's probably strong. Absolutely. Yeah, you're weak. Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's my point is I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say, like you said, she has that speed. She gets a little bit more, you know, like if she has that strength, and you know, she can she can move into those, Yo, you know, it'll other be positions. A, it'll be a freaking big victory celebration if she can make yeah. it to a practice okay, squad. But can I give it, it, yeah. it a stack, too? The dude from the Bachelor right now was playing on a practice squad. Yeah, it? but he's a meathead. Um, this, is, this is a question. Huh. Like... What is this com- like? Do you think she can at least get to like where Michael Sam went, and it was like hard for him to go, and he was like, like uh, even though he was at like Missouri State or something, he's at Missouri. He was at Missouri. He had he some awesome. stats. He was he was de- he was decent in college. He wasn't a bad player. He he couldn't even crack a, a game. You think it's harder mm-hmm. for a gay male player or a woman? Damn. With that's why I was kind of that's where like, I was like that's where I was safely like, trying to get like to in my she, question. Like if she's yeah. as good as Michael Sam was, because I mean Michael Sam went to Missouri. Like no, and he, he like plays all, he, he was like all Big Ten. He was, he like all Big Ten. She goes. So, 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 she's so, at so, Bethany College. Well, well, okay, but here's my question: <laughs> With that same skill set, would it be harder for a gay male or a uh, woman with the same skill set? I think a woman. You think a woman? I think a gay male. You think so? I think there's more of an. This is gonna I sound think, twisted. I think it's gay male it's because openly gay or just yeah, he was openly gay. Uh, okay, yeah, he was openly gay. He was kissing no, his I'm boyfriend just, on know, the draft. No, I'm just, no, I'm just trying of, to make sure if you're talking about openly or just you know. I mean, do you well, know plenty plenty of those? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> five, five. <laughs> My thing is like you know with the, with with a gay male, I think it's mm. it's harder because. Um, I agree with that. When way. when Michael Sam came up, I remember the discussion was a lot of backlash from public players talking about. Oh, the locker, the locker room, the locker room. locker room, and then just going top to down. But with the female, there's there's almost like a sick sort of like entertainment aspect that they would want to exploit for a female getting in there compared to the gay male. Like I'm not saying that like the, the, not saying taking away from the talent or skill set or anything, but like an NFL owner or whatever would would entertain the buzz behind that more than to be the team that entertains the buzz of receiving a gay male athlete. Who was that cornerback? Was it Colliver from the 49ers? Like, I wouldn't accept a gay player in the yes, locker Yes, it was. It was absolutely yeah, Colliver. Yeah. And, I, and I'm pretty sure it was again after that. I was pretty sure it was during the Super Bowl, like, yeah. uh, lead-up, mm-hmm. too. Um, or maybe a playoff game. Yeah, I think that it would be a bigger uh, dub for the NFL to have a woman mm-hmm. than them having a gay male. Because, like, yeah, who's, who? maybe she won't make the team, or maybe she'll, like, just be struggling to make a team. But, like... You're showing a lot of inclusion that's like, quote unquote, this is not how I feel, but it's safe. Whereas like with the gay male, there's a lot of conservative people, uh, like ownership and like forces behind the NFL as an organization. I I think the NFL as an organization wouldn't like, not that they wouldn't embrace him, but it would be like. More controversial. But, you saying. know what? Also, do I also think that? But there's definitely gay. And, and, and it's not. It's oh, not yeah. on. Of course, and it's not on her. I'm, this is not mm-hmm. on the player at all. The female player. Sure. This would also be if we talk about what's been the biggest Achilles heel to NFL lately. It's been the discussion about concussions, these big hits, and these damaging things. Yeah. Lord knows the cringe level. The first time she if she were to go out there at safety and she gets bent over from a, from a middle mid, a, a run up the middle. Like there's already those videos already are bare. They used to like be the thing to like post online, like the you compilation people getting Bush decimated. Would? Oh my god, Reggie Bush got thrown into next week. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, literally, like for he probably woke up next week. The thing is, <laughs> you see those videos and like that's that's like not even pushed out there as much publicly. They used to be the thing like big hitters of the year, like helmet when I, helmet when collisions, school, all that. When I was in high school, there's a thing like if a big hits get like put on the uh, uh, Channel Nine News yeah. or whatever. Yeah, they would be like you're gonna make it a Sports Center with that hit. Like that was the thing or whatever. Like. But like, let that happen to the female safety or whatever a player like. They're gonna be like, ah, uh, we need to get rid of the NFL like that. That'll no, I, I don't like, think so. Because the, the NFL so. already I has. So. The, I think already. 
dealing with the concussion protocol issues they had in the NFL, those are already like people talking about, oh, the league, this and this, and they should get rid of it. I can see that happen if it happens to a player like that, honestly. You're daydreaming. I'm not daydreaming, but I'm... I'm joking about your sweater. Okay, then I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, honestly, I don't think that's the case. I think if she was to get a, a big hit, like, I think that there would be a... not. I'm not saying how I feel, but I think that there would be a positive discussion around that. Like, her getting destroyed? Yeah. What would not the she, positive not, discussion be? Okay. Safety. Yo, I'm going to steal huh? Increase safety. I, no, no. I think not, no. If she, not if she's going out on a stretcher, but I think if she gets a, if there's a big hit and she's got to come out, I think they'll be like, look, like we made this game. Like the fact that she's in the game to be able to get hit like that. I think they'll be like, look, like, you know, we're, we're showing that this sport is for everybody and nobody's just like going soft on her. Because she's made it. She's on the same level as everybody else. I just think what the way today is, I do not think it's that open-minded in the aspect of that. Especially today, no. The I don't know what you mean by today. The, what do you I, mean by that? I mean, just tell you, with the narratives that are going on, I think about that they what? would want to attack. Can I finish talking? Well, you're going to go. No, I'm good then. <laughs> <laughs> good. The narratives are on what? I just think that they would like jump on the opportunity to like, try to you know shut down the NFL or what they're doing or or how the hits are going, they would try to shut the league down and make it more cushiony than it even was already. If, okay. You're if telling a, me if that... a female player got 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 helmet to helmet collision you... and got concussion, knocked out of the game, it was a really disgusting looking hit, I think they would be I don't think that would receive positive look in the news. Charm, Charm, and they what would, do you think? They would build on it and make it a safer right, wait, option. You're some condescending for it. Look at me, I'm saying with a smile. Yeah, now you are because I, I went at you, but go ahead. <laughs> well I'm right, but anyway, what do you think? All sir? right. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! See, Atar, what do you now, think? Do you think so, who are, like, are you? Are you more on Caesar's side or my side? About <laughs> huh? About her getting oh, hit? Oh, Caesar! No, I'm about, so over you. About her getting hit? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, what do you think the discussion would be around her? Get, if she if she made it to the game, she's in the game, not practice, the game, and she happened to come across uh, Stephen Jackson running up the uh, middle, and she gets uh, ran Steve. over. He's not even his league. Well, of course he's not, but he's like um, 259 pounds. He was huge. I mean, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, you know, that's what she, you know, she couldn't handle it, or that's what she gets, you know, if it's a girl trying to do that. Yeah, but, but you'll be on the uh, the uh, 4chan, uh, not not no, on not on that, but like not, in, the main, sure, dog, in, but, the, in the mainstream. But I mean, I don't know. I kind of would be like. Do you think it would be a positive or a negative for the league? I mean, damn. I think it would be, in a, in, a, in a way, both. So it would be positive because, like you said, she got there. Yeah. But then if she did get, you know, end up getting hurt for whatever reason, they're going to be like, okay, well, I mean, like it's, like you said, at this point, they have to see her as her equal because she got there. Yeah, yeah. You know? But so at this point, you got to think, okay, maybe things aren't as safe as they really should be. You know, like I the, seen uh, Colt McCoy one time when he was in the Browns. He got molly walked yeah, and he's but, like stumbling but, around. He went back in the game. Like, I don't think it's a, there's no difference if it's a woman or not. They're gonna have those issues any anyway. I mean, I, f- I feel like you're gonna be more with like you know male NFL players, like just male players in general. You know, like growing up, what do they tell you? Like, oh, just you know, walk it off, yeah. you know, or whatnot. Yeah, they always that's they, what's gonna be what she heard her whole life too. I mean, I feel like some people will be like that, but other people will be like, ah, oh, no, you know, like you know, she's still a girl. Well, I feel like some people will still do that, you know? Of course, some but, people will, but but I mean, like, the overall narrative for the league is what I'm saying. CJ, you still, I mean, still stand up by it. Yeah, absolutely. I just think that, you know, there, there's already... Were, I remember when the when they were starting to do the, the lawsuit that was going on for the concussions within the NFL. Mm-hmm. The narrative were talking about kids at youth levels dying and having these issues and, and concussion-like symptoms at the youth level. Yeah. So, why is it... There wasn't a positive spin off that. There was no, like, well, you know, what would this and this... But now we're talking about a female player gets into this league full of grown men who are at the highest level of ta- doing this. And I'm not saying, I'm really not trying to say that she can't cut it. I'm not saying that. But the first time something happens that it's egregious and it's out of the control of everybody, because NFL is such a like batting ram league that things just happen. Like it just it just happens in the course of athleticism and motion in the game. That happens. You can't tell me it's going to be a positive. I don't know. First of all, I don't know why you don't scream over Because I really want to know what the hell is positive. You're talking about it. <laughs> okay, I never see someone ever get okay. bent over okay. in a league and it's a positive the okay, next day. Caesar, I think you're oh, not, it's all okay, good okay. because he walked off. Okay, but Caesar, I, I think you're not really understanding what, how I'm putting it. So I'm going to do it slower so you should. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you giggle? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. 
if a woman Tony if Tony Harris makes it to the NFL, she she makes it to like the roster. If she gets to a point where she's in the game, like that's a that's a journey. That's a journey that a lot of players don't even reach. They've been playing their whole life to, to some make guys it. are practice squads their whole life. Yeah, or they don't even make it there. They they go to college yeah. and they can't. They don't get drafted. They never get a chance. Yeah, like me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm saying if she makes it there, and it ends up that she takes a hit and she is concussed, I don't think this narrative around that. Play will be the same as a narrative around like other plays getting other players getting concussed because I, I this is obviously a, it's hypothetical as hell but I think that they'll be saying like okay it shows that the players weren't going easy on her because that'll be whack like nobody will have any respect if she's in the game and we're uh, dancing around her you know what I'm saying and it'll be like okay like. You know, maybe this uh, game is like for a. Sh- well, I don't know actually, because damn, if she made it there, she had to get some hits before that. Yeah. So like, you know, uh, I think it'll be different. Okay, the, in the, the one the one place I agree with you is like if she gets like if she's off on a stretcher, that'll be just negative all around. It's always because always bad when somebody's on a stretcher. I've but s- I think if she just catches a hit and she's a little groggy. I think that'll be like yo, like yo, we're going somewhere with this. Like I don't want to do this again, but like the thing is when it comes to like. I'm just kind of relating it to like when there's been aspects in other sports and when they brought something, somebody that's like almost like an anomaly in a sport, someone that's completely different than what they like usually Jackie have. Jackie Robinson? You know, I mean, no, Jackie, Jackie Robinson. Robinson. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> okay, like, 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 I don't want to say, like, for example, like in, in uh, uh, MMA or whatever, like they were talking, they were all, everybody was talking about the, the WWE guy. Like, what if he comes in here and he does something, he does something and he's trained before it'd be good no but i'm just saying like that there was like that buildup of like what if they can do it they can do it comes in and gets like destroyed you know and then my thing is my mindset it was like no one was like oh you know at least no one no none of the guys were like going soft on him you know what i mean i feel you but that's it's it's really different i know like i'm just trying to i'm like maybe i'm not putting it together right but like i just think that like it's 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 hard to see a lot of like Okay, it's only it's only gonna be I can I can only see a lot of positives in it if she's almost like of course she gets out there and like she kind of just does her thing she holds her own and that's great I would love to see that that'd be yeah, dope because I want to be like okay look at this yeah that's a great thing because everything has to start somewhere no no first barrier or player that breaks a barrier is immediately the greatest thing of all time of course not no if, the person that, that's why you got to commend people that even got there in the first place Absolutely. because Especially they the paved the way because Hard. the next girl sees them be like oh dang you know I'm, I, I think I man. think I'm stronger than her I think I'm faster than her yeah. I could go in there and do way more work yeah. and I don't want to be better I don't want to throw the ball or I want to be a receiver I'm yeah. like that's the great thing about the first person that we often don't ever remember. We remember the stars, but we don't remember the person that broke the barrier. But you know another thing too, like I don't think, like another reason why I don't think it'll be like the worst thing in the world for NFL if she got concussed in a game is because the the male players that happens to them too. They get rocked too. Yeah. So she's just kind of like another player. Look, that's I just, and I think that that's a overall win for the NFL if, she, if like her being out there just ends up like any other player. You what, know what I'm saying? What, what, I'm gonna turn this around. Yeah, yeah go, go for it. What if she ends up rocking somebody else? And they're and they're concussed. Ooh, yeah, five out, out the league. Um, <laughs> what? They, they you you pick, said the NFL hasn't regressed. You did say the NFL absolutely. Hasn't regressed. The thing is, I just never forget how the treatment of the Michael Sam situation was. You know, and I just remember like he never he, played though. I know he never played. The thing is, I remember the treatment of the players and how they talked about just the idea of him coming in the locker room during the draft. The idea, things Antonio Pierce was saying, things that all, everybody was saying. Uh, the, what the, was he saying? I, I never. Liked he him. was saying. He was saying the same thing. He was saying like, oh, like I just don't think that gets down locker room. Like, um, um, you know, uh, it's a it, the locker room is a very manly kind of place he was or saying whatever. That? Yeah, he was saying that hopefully, kind of stuff. I'll never, I'll never forget that. I think that was actually during the draft too. Hopefully, ESPN he's coverage. not in the ESPN anymore. You know, I, that, like I remember that stuff. So. You know the build up to that. I can all. You got to think the same people with that stupid mindset, that dumb mindset, are going to be the same people probably have perception about a woman in the league as well. I, I feel and you, I hate it. I, think I hated have that. More more animosity towards a gay man than a woman. I think they have more animosity. Well, we'll see. But I and, and but I don't agree think... with that too though. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have animosity towards her going no, to the league. No, no. You said you said there's going to be more animosity towards a gay man. No, yeah, it, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, that's but I want to see that. I want to see her rock somebody else. I want to see her go against like Derrick Henry, watch him get wrecked for the second time by a safety. Yeah. <laughs> he's still in the league. Yeah, Der- what? Derrick Henry. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, the Titans. He's, yeah, he's still he's a starting running back now. So for the Titans. Mm-hmm. 
Caesar's hating because we be knowing shit about the league. Okay. Look, I just remember watching him. Hey, just I just remember watching the highlight him against Florida State. Damn. Damn. Okay. Damn. No, okay. Relax. Uh, no, no. College no, no. 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 I just because like because like the only reason I know this is because it, it was Keanu Neal, so he's a safety for the Falcons, so I'm gonna know this. But they went head to head. Keanu Neal wrecked him. Mm. So I just want to see that happen again, though. Like with the, with, the, with Tony Harris. With, with <laughs> how big is Derrick Henry? He's pretty he's big. big. He's a big dude, right? Yeah. Jesus, that'd be incredible. I want to see that too. Goddamn, that'd just, be insane. Just see him go head to head, and just her just get lower than him, and just bop. Five foot five. Um, okay, Caesar and and Tark. Um, let's talk about the NBA a little bit. Uh, what do you guys think about this Anthony Davis potential trade? Ooh, Did they shut down. <laughs> Did they shut it down? I think I shut down. I mean, no, I think no, it's just a bunch of games right now. I think no, I think I, should, I just saw last report the Lakers are pulling out because the the Pelicans. Oh, I thought you meant like the the, the, the commissioner oh. shut it down. No, I no, think no. That the the, 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 the Lakers shut it down because I heard that now the Pelicans wanted two more first round picks for that trade too. Should they yeah. do it? They wanted first four four first round picks from my dad are my picks and for Is AD. It worth it? Absolutely, I don't think so. <laughs> Absolutely, no. no. Ain't nobody good. No, I want to say his first look, point. Go ahead, Tarsi. Look, so my thing is. One, who the hell are the Lakers going to have on the team? They're going to have like four or five players left on the team. Yeah, but you got Bron. You got Bron. Yeah, you got Bron, yeah, Bron. I asked like, the Heat how many they had like nine players that one year to Heat but, <laughs> when they traded for Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. They're, they're going to have like six at this point, and it's going to be like, you know, who though? Like a bunch of like forwards or, you know. Get like, Barnes back. But, I mean, my thing is, one, you're giving up like That's a lot. Much. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> And like you said, I think it was like what it was: Rondo, Ingram, Lonzo, Kuzma, Damn. and um, and what's it called? Like you said, two first round picks. Oh, Bob. and oh, and it was Beasley. Damn. So Reagan. So it was like you're giving all that for one, maybe two guys. No, you're done. He's a baller though. Huh? But, uh, I think. But it, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm saying my thing is one, like unless there's a third team involved. Like, how is, how is the, how are the Pelicans gonna handle that? You know that trade with the contracts. It, I mean, you can't just cut everybody. No, they're not gonna. Okay, when you when you're talking about NFL trade rumors, they're not gonna include the, the guy you still really hear about for the kickback for the star player. They always fill it in mm-hmm. to make the even numbers because NFL has the minimum twelve. Everybody said here too. Well, you're talking about NBA, or NBA? And, and NBA. I'm sorry, you have to have the minimum twelve. So they're gonna backfill some players you probably either never heard of or just like bench dude. They might throw in out. I don't know if you still maybe Tyreek Evans is still there. I don't remember. They might throw in some players for that trade just to keep because you got to make sure the contracts line up too. The reason you will have to do that many is because AD's contract compared to Kuzma, everybody's probably so large. You have to compensate on the trade also. Yeah. I think it's a good trade because let's keep it real. People are forgetting this. Anthony Davis just turned twenty five. Mm. He's young as hell. He's a baller. All I'm gonna keep it real. Ingram, Kuzma, all those guys. Combined, they basically equal Antonio De- at, uh, at uh, what's his name again? Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Davis. Yeah, God, like he's he's sensational talent. Like, I like you watch him play, and it's like I don't even know when another guy like this comes to a draft. Like it just doesn't happen like this. Who's better, him or Kevin Durant? Um, I mean, I think Kevin Durant's better overall. I'm gonna keep it real with you, but mm. I think Anthony Davis also does Can things. Anthony Davis get there. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna keep it real. Anthony Davis is a, is a totally different player to Kevin Durant. Is he? Okay, I don't know. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's oh, game is, Kevin is predicated Durant. on being. Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> oh, Kevin Durant, can you keep talking? <laughs> I'm doing background music. I'm Kevin listening. Durant's game is predicated on being a stretch wing that attacks. But Anthony oh, Davis is a big that's in the paint and drives. That's, to, that's two different okay. players to me. I, honestly, I've never seen him. Anthony da- Kuzma is a really good player. But the thing is, the Lakers have always been horrific at developing talent. They've never been a good at developing youth talent. The only guy that ever developed was a trade for Kobe. They didn't even draft that guy. So what do the Lakers always do? They they get players and they trade them off to get something bigger. Braun is not here for the Kuzma project and for no. the Ingram project. Look, Braun just turned like 33, right? 32? 5. 30, 30, no, you didn't oh, turn 35. You got to add Lance Stevenson too. He was on there. I don't care. <laughs> you, uh, uh, LeBron what? is here for the now. So you need to make trades for now. What's a now answer? Anthony Davis is a now. You need the now. You don't have time. You got to well, keep Rondo. You, you got to keep Rondo say, and it's the now. I was going to say, you got to you can keep uh, Kuzma, get rid of Rondo. Get rid of Kuzma too, whatever. You got to clear that. You got to get these dudes. 
You gotta get these guys. It doesn't you matter. Need, you need someone off the bench. The though. Lakers. Like, oh. The Lakers. If the Lakers get Anthony Davis, they don't need the first round picks. They're gonna be thirtieth no, picks, twenty no. fifth round. I don't. I don't no, care no about one. the picks. I don't care about the picks. I'm talking about just having the players, especially off the bench. It doesn't matter. All those guys you can fill. The the, the, the you can you can. You're, they're gonna make. They're a not. They're not the Spurs back. where they can ball out with some. You know. Tark. Someone you've never I'm heard. I'm gonna of. keep it real with you. The Miami Heat, when they made the blockbuster trade for to have LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh. Do you want to name some of the bench players? They had a freaking Juwan Howard on that bench. They had they, they had Birdman. They, they had Birdman. they had Birdman. He's a baller. You, they you had know, Ray Allen. You know where they got Birdman from? Free agency for one point eight million. Yeah, it ain't that serious. Yes, that's what I'm saying. There's options always now. to get. Huh? There ain't no good. There'll Birdman. be another Birdman. Ain't that Beerus? Nah, okay. Birdman. Birdman's a baller. Shut up about Birdman. Who's <laughs> Birdman won that championship? The thing is, yeah. is, the market's big. There's there's so much NBA talent. It's a two, I don't think there is. It's a two mm-hmm. round draft league. It's a two round draft league. There's dudes I think out there. I think that's because there's not that much talent. It's only two rounds. I guess. Yeah. See, you know, keep on being aggressive if you want to. And I'm done. That, like, what like? Then go. Just you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and I also want to know who are like what big man was in that trade for New Orleans. Ooh. Uh, well, I don't no think anybody man. cares about that. Yeah, no, no, I mean, no, the, you, the, no, you don't need a big man. man. The league is all small. I'm asking, but, I, I'm asking should the Lakers do it, not the Pelicans. I don't yeah, care. I don't know the Pelicans are going to start <laughs> now. They got Drew Holiday. Do you think? Straight do out of they, San Diego. Still have him? Shit. Miracosta. <laughs> what? Um, okay, do you think mm-hmm. the NBA is still a player driven league? Or did, or is this like whole trade thing kind of showing Player driven? Yeah. What do you mean by player driven? You gonna make me explain that? Yeah, explain to me how how the trade. Well, kind of like kind of like uh, like the players kind of determine what's going on, and the players dictate the trades and stuff like that. Do you think it's still like more like that, or a little bit less because of this whole trade fiasco? Caesar, mm. oh, you want me to go first? Okay, I think that I think that I think that um, it's still player driven because um, players like LeBron definitely have positions in front of office where they want to influence who do they prefer to have on their team. Who do you, who and, else do you think has that much power? I mean, I think Kobe did it his time. Well, I, I think mean, that, that, that's probably I think now. that. Uh, I think that. I don't think Steph Curry got it like that. No, I don't think he does. But I mean, that's not a one. That's not a one star team right now. I mean, that that's a team with multiple guys you consider stars. They have like four or five stars on their team. Who? Oh, they got KD. I forgot. Yeah, yeah they got KD, KD. So they got Boogie. Then they got Boogie. He ain't a star. Yo, I just think Boogie did they flatten <laughs> somebody. I'm like, this is not Ooh. fair. You shouldn't have him for two million. Yeah, but he's not a star though. Definitely not. But he has an R and B album. Shut <laughs> up. Yeah. Let me get the instrumental. I'm good. <laughs> um, okay, forget all that. Okay, um, last topic, guys. Um, Kobe Bryant was out here saying that... Um, James Harden. Th- you want a cookie? No, I want to leave. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, he was talking about James Harden's play, like the way he's been playing, and he said um, there's... He said... He said uh, there's a style of play in which he's using which I'm not a fan of in terms of winning championships. I don't think that style is ever going to win championships. But at the same time, you got to keep your team's head above water to win games. Uh, so you got to do it. You have to do what you got to do to win games, and he's doing it. But he's saying that that style that Kevin Durant is, I'm sorry, uh, James Harden is playing, um, cannot win championships. What do you guys think about that? I agree. Well, huh. What do you think James Harden's huh. doing huh. since you're going to agree? Because you don't even look, know what he's doing. Look, I watch. Look. I watch High Noon. <laughs> Okay, James, James Harden is balling out. I won't, you know, I won't deny him that, you know, that fact. He's crossing people over. He's doing that travel step back, not getting <laughs> called for it. He's, and he's making that shot, you know. And he's, I think, what, he's got like, was it, how many games in a row with 40 points? 40, Look, 40, 55, I don't or know. Or something like that. <laughs> and like they said, the only other. 420, like a uh, bull Chamberlain. You know, so, but I think what Kobe means is like, that's all he's doing, though. And when it comes to playoffs, People, you know, like, granted there's no defense in the league, but people play a little bit more, you know, defense. They have a little bit more scheming when it comes to playoffs. I'm so mad at Caesar just hating on me just, so hard. This whole <laughs> he don't want to hear you talk about no sports. No. He's just like, hating the whole that time. That's not my listen. <laughs> but, <laughs> Why? But, Why? What, but, me, what drives me, people don't know. We, our friendship is our disagreements on everything. We don't agree on anything. Even in, in video games, we don't even, agree on nothing. Even if I'm right. Which I want to do another I'm video right, game podcast episode. Even, even when I'm right all the time, he wants to disagree. Okay. 
I think that that Kobe comment was Gross. some super hater shit. That Ooh. was some hater talk. Because what's really whack about everybody saying that his analysis was great is that he didn't say one damn time. You know what? It would have made it legitimate if he said, you know what? His style of play doesn't win championships because I did that for four years. I did it for five years during a stretch where I had just me, Lamar Odom, and and, and, um, and uh, Chucky Atkins out there. When it was uh, us three running the point, I was just shooting the rock and not doing much. But the thing is, is that it made a difference. Harden was averaging more assists per game than Kobe did on that stretch as well. Mm. Um, I don't think also it's it's conducive to say that's not a style to win basketball because I think his analysis comes from an era where the game was ran differently. This mm. league is different now. This is a whole different league. There's league. There's no more centers out here. It's it's just all stretch four players stretching the wing and a and a, and a semi decent player grabbing rebounds and kicking it back out for threes. It's a stretch mm. league now and. He plays to that style, although it's different because he holds the ball more than like a Warriors do or some other teams. He plays a style that shoots three. They jack up threes all day. Now, I'm going to keep real. I don't think in my breathing life I'll see the Rockets win a chip again uh, um, because the last time they won, we're talking about Robert Ori. So, it's been a while since they won. Hakeem Olajuwon, show some respect. Yeah, but I'm going to show respect to Robert Ori. Robert Ori, not the Hakeem the Dream. He took Uh, off like a Rocket. Elijah Wan Hakeem. Hakeem. Either way it goes. He didn't say Robert. Took off like a rocket. Robert Ori. (laughs) (laughs) No, I mean, I agree with Caesar to what he said. Like, the league is different than when Kobe was in there. I mean, I do got a bar for for Caesar and uh, for Caesar because he just went this hard. James Harden did agree with Kobe, actually. (laughs) I'm sure he did because he's scared of him. What is he going to do? Kobe will back up? He's, uh, Harden's a poster fake L.A. boy at our, who, who was getting dr- drives out of uh, all the way to play in Artesia. I'll never forget that. They got suspended that year because you went there. Yeah. Hopefully he They got kicked out of but, CIF because of James Harden, Artesia High, down the street. Yeah. Shout out Artesia High. Whoa, whoa. What James, Harden, what James Harden said, for right now, he's probably right. Yeah, for right this now. This way that we're playing won't happen, won't get us where we want to go. Damn, was that a leader? <laughs> But we haven't had a full Damn. roster. But we haven't had a full roster yet, so I'm excited for that to come. Hey, don't don't pause when you're reading when it sounds in the background because literally you were singing songs yeah, while I was talking. I that's what I do. You no, don't but do that. I do that too. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, I do that. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. By the so, way, in yeah, case so, y'all didn't know, this, this is this is our producer right here, Young Tar. We didn't introduce him as our producer. This is a producer right here. He'd be in the back a doing the video. Videographer, videographer, video producer. It's our guy right here. Yeah, yeah, he just so, came out of uh, Eddie Bravo Jiu Jitsu. So yeah, so so what you were saying, all that stuff you were saying about James Harden, Caesar, you're uh, wrong because James How Harden, am I wrong? Because just because James, James Harden, Harden James Harden don't know what the hell you're talking about. He's just trying he to know, he's trying to submit to the Mamba no. crap. It's, he's from LA. All the LA basketball players worship Kobe. Let's just keep it a stack. Okay, about okay, actually I can agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Think, Come right. on. Yeah, that's true. I just he probably said it because he wanted to play for the Lakers. Oh, no, that'd just, be good. That'd be dope move. Oh my god. Even though LeBron would be so mad. Why? Uh, no, I don't he, think James Harden has to ball hawk. I don't think he yeah. has to. No, he doesn't. Yeah. But no, I just, I just feel like the way you know, like you said, he ball hogs. So I feel like that. But that's what the, that's, that's what they're yeah. running. I mean, who's he gonna I know, get the but, ball to? Like, Trevor, like I just uh, think Trevor he's Reason? gonna he'll, he's gonna get himself too tired during playoffs. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I can see that. If you know, they don't, well, if they don't get the, the roster is, back. The thing yeah. is, yeah, he, he just he's, has to. That roster is rough. Yeah. Like they got, they got Chris name, Paul. Name and that's three a, people. Name three people on the Rockets right now. They got the dude that shoots the that's, free that's throw, not, honey. That's not injured. What? What I stutter? Yao Ming, Steve <laughs> Franchise, CB, Steve Francis, Francis, CB Steve. Franchise, and uh, um, Jimmy Jackson. Okay, right. <laughs> Your boy Jimmy Jackson right there. That's my boy right there. Who's that guy that had the... the, the, the Point guards, is it Shea or something? I forgot him too. The Jimmy headband. Jackson was a '96 Olympics team, by the way. Don't ever fly that. Uh, Jimmy Jackson had a nice jump shot. Oh yeah, and I hated his high socks. But go ahead. I didn't. I didn't like him because he's like very regular, but he did make it for that to that team for some reason. He is a very regular dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I thought that was cool though. You know what I thought was cool about it? Even I'm not going to question Harden's motives, but. He heard that from Kobe, and he was just like, "Yeah, he's probably right." I, I'm glad it to become some no, no, yeah. It's so typical for everybody to just kind of come at each other. Yeah, I, like I said, you know, I I know he probably just said that to do it, but you know, it, it's good to show like it, it's almost like he's like also respecting like the opinion of his elders. You know, yeah, like oh, right. this is Kobe's legend in the and, game. And Kobe won championships. And, he know and, what it and, takes. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like it would have meant meant a Still lot more him. to me if Kobe just said like I know because I did that. You know what I mean? Because okay. you Cause did that. Because you did that. Like you did that. Kobe hater. I'm not. I, I, I'm actually a Lamar Odom fan, not a Kobe hater. Okay. It's a difference in life. Free Lamar. <laughs> Damn for real. 
I saw a video of him balling out like at some like random like. Uh, and no one can get <laughs> get him. <laughs> he was just balling. I don't know if it was like college kids or something. He was just schooling him up. Like uh, a year and a half ago, he was playing in uh, Corey Maggetti's pickup league. He was balling. Is it Maggetti mm-hmm. or Maggett? Corey Maggetti. You know who else was balling out? Ex Clipper. You know who else was balling out? Patrick Mahomes. Basketball? Yes. This dude pulled out some crazy like. Almost like some kind of like crazy, you know, sham god moved in, pulled like some kind of spin. Like, <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't say sham god. What's the sham almost. god? I'm mad about that. <laughs> like, so I'm mad. Right no, now. he did not make me mad. What's the sham god? Show me a sham god. Okay, you know what's the baller? Here? No, Tony <laughs> Romo's a baller. Yeah, to- I was gonna say, yeah, Tony, Tony Romo's a baller. Ball. Yeah. You know what they said is really good too? Uh-huh. It was like really, really good. Mm-hmm. Who was the uh, uh, Vinny Tessaverde? They said Vinny yeah, Tessaverde was a hooper. You know what I think is actually good too is Eli Manning. I think Eli Manning's kind of good. Yeah. Yeah, Vinny just raised the ball too. Yeah, they were like, mm-hmm. they were, I don't forget that guy, the guy. He was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, you want to go play some basketball? All right. He was like, he beat me like twenty one to three, <laughs> <laughs> three times. He's like, you want to run again? I'm like, no, <laughs> we just did three times. And hey, you know, I seen shooting the basketball. They said he could dunk too. You know, I seen shooting the basketball there and, and busting him. Ooh. Isco, that's dope. <laughs> He's gonna be a really good point guard. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, guys, episode ninety three, very long episode. We made a podcast, but we got to do what we got to do out here. Seriously, nobody does what we do out here. Thank you to Tark coming through. Episode ninety three, at we made a podcast. We made we made a podcast dot com. Dream team, yeah, we made it. Daydreamer teamer. Free. Oh, oh wait, go wait, 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 wait. Hold on, you, before we go. you want to talk about yeah. free? Yeah. Was, you know what? Oh, this sorry, is showing over. Let me like, take my look, shirt off. I'm mad on. about this. This is what we forgot to mention during the Super Bowl yeah, part. Yeah, during the Super Bowl, we were just talking, looking at 21 Damn. Savage memes. Yo, don't leave, no. y'all. Wait, they'll come yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> The I got whole, a theory. I got a theory about, but y'all talk about the twenty one. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go. That's how bad the, the Super Bowl yeah. was. Like even though the twenty one seventies were really like hilarious, but the Super Bowl like was so bad. Even the commercials were bad that we were looking at those memes. Commercials never been good. That's a hipster yeah. movement. It was never good. They've had some couple good ones. That's nah, garbage. The only none. one that was good was last year's Doritos with the pug that ran through the window. That was hilarious to me. Dude. Or the door knocked down. That was funny. Okay, so you got a theory about twenty one seventies. So I'm speaking on this. I'm just basing this off of. Me being an immigrant myself. Okay, and the, we got him. We got him. Time we got him. Hey, no, 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 wait. Ice, 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 ice. I think that, so what I'm reading is that he came to America when he was seven, and then he went back to, for a month, and when he, in 2005 to 2004, 2005, 2006, he went for a month. What, where? He went to UK for a month with his, I believe his mom. I think that what happened was his mother, and then they traveled, and she had a pending permanent residence, okay. and she left. And then she re-entered with a British passport. Okay. The thing is, is that when you re-enter with the British passport, your visa is going to expire. You have to return to your original nation. Like, I couldn't leave to go to Brazil until 2004 because if I were to leave, I was waiting for my permanent residence to come in. If I didn't get my permanent residence, I would have to stay in Brazil. And, and I couldn't apply to get a permanent residence while living in Brazil. So I think that they just, they, they, they used the passport to come back and she probably thought to herself, Oh, you know, it's pending, so I'm going to get it approved anyways. Well, I have a question. Well, this is the only thing about that is going from Brazil to USA is a little bit different because you need a visa. Mm-hmm. But the UK to America, you don't need a visa. But you need a passport. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Okay, you don't but, need a visa. You can but, enter here. But, but she was applying. She's, she's, they, the lawyer said that she's a permanent resident and both of his kids are American born. Yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming that if she came here when he was seven, she couldn't have got her, her permanent resident that fast. No, it takes not. about 10 years yeah, yeah, or so. Of course, of course. So I think that she left while it was pending. I don't think that would mess anything up, though. I think it could because... But because you don't need a visa to come in, back and forth in the UK. Yeah, but you, but if uh, my theory... Does, I mean, once again, I'm not crazy okay, okay, knowledgeable okay. about the immigration. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm just saying that, yeah, like, yeah. if she left while the permanent residence was pending, like, it's really hard to just go and come back with a no, with, with just a with just a green card. Like, with a green card, you gotta you just got to go, and then you got to work on coming back. You can't just well, come back. Well, I, I don't... Well, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, disagree no, with No, no, but, but, like... Maybe I'm, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm down to be wrong. Because the only thing I'm thinking is because you don't need a visa to come to the mm-hmm. America from the UK. You can mm-hmm. stay for probably, like, 90 days or whatever with, with no mm-hmm. question. Um, I just think it was a, it's more of a residency issue too, though. Well, it's, I think it's I just, ninety days there, but it's six months here. So well, what I can't I, remember. What honestly, what I think yeah. is like she just never did the paperwork. No, for I, I, I know. I thought that I think that maybe payments the the paperwork was processing, and she just was doing stuff and not really paying attention. Yeah. My issue well, though he was, was running the streets. He was talking about he didn't live at home when he was fifteen. No, and I that's what I'm saying. I'm mad that people. There were some people pulling this narrative like he's the person that was breaking laws. 
The well, he ice did thing. Break some laws. No, listen. The ice thing is stupid because you're implying that someone at the age of 14, 13 was supposed to be actively knowing immigration policies upon moving in and out of the country. That's BS. The first time I traveled out the country, I was 13 years old. I really didn't know anything but to just hand them a paper and let me go into the next line, next line, next line. I don't know, like, oh, I got 90 days. You don't know that stuff. And the lawyer said that they they had their paperwork pending for four years for approval for his residency status in America. Well, I think they America. said he applied in 2017 for something. Yeah, well, they, they, but they, they're saying that they've had pending documentation for years. So ICE was just basically acting like some kind of bounty hunter and just going on their own whim to well, pull exactly them over, which I thought was well, stupid. Well, well, I, I, okay, now... Here's I got two things to say no, for about sure. that. I think what they they were going after young nudie, yeah, who's on four L, who says pass it to my, mm, mm. Mm. Um, <laughs> so I think that they were actually going after him, mm-hmm. and I need a question academic. Damn it, nudie. Yeah, but he was in the car. This is what I've heard. But here's here's who I really want to like kind of not necessarily blame, but like point the finger at a little bit. He's been signed and doing his thing since like 2016. He's got lawyers. He's got a label. Like he nobody, been, nobody. He went to juvie middle school. He's been around. Well, also, I, well, the well, system. Forget about that. Like he's he's been a, a he's an employee of a record label. He has yeah. lawyers. He has all the like management team. Nobody was like, yo, okay, like we got to get this stuff in order like right now. Like yeah. this is the stuff. Like you're not an you're not a citizen of America. Um, you're not even a resident. Yeah, you're not even a, like you like they have to know that you're here illegally. I mean, and do you, they? Yeah. I yes. mean, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm sorry. I phrased that wrong. Does not have a social security number. I know. Isn't that wild? Like, I, I mean, yeah. to my knowledge, he does not have one. Can't have one. Yeah. So if he's here illegally, those people know that. Yeah. Y'all gotta pay him. Like, yeah. Like y'all gotta figure that shit out. No, I agree. Five, I mean, look, five. the lawyer is saying allegedly had four years <laughs> of stuff going on. Documentation behind the scenes. So, who so knows what's going on? Number, but but the thing is, my my main issues is that is is the whole ice. It should be more about what the what the fuck is ice doing more than more than uh oh twenty one savage this whoa, this. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so because no, I think no, it's no, it's no, really no, easy. The devil's advocate a little bit. No, I'm, I'm, it's really easy in America to attack immigration and immigration status. Well, I'm not doing when that. we have some of the most complex bylaws and the most most random um, most random people can attack you for these things well, going a lot of on. Countries have t- tough immigration stuff. Yeah, but we're talking about America. Okay. Now here's my now here's here's some play a little bit. Put a little. Uh, what you're enjoying? Go ahead. <clears throat> put your real hat on. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> How much of this is twenty one savages' fault though? Because he could have very easily been deported 50. in 2014. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm not no, no, going to. No, no, I'm not going to put hold majority hold on, hold on, blame on, on him. I'm not, no, no, I'm not saying that. But, but one second. Fifty. He, this is somebody. He he's committed felonies. Yes. Okay. He knows he's never been a, a, a legal citizen. He knows that. Oh, he knows his life. Yeah. So he could have easily been deported in 2014. Easily, when he caught that uh, drug charge, yeah, or, or, or he caught something with a pistol, he, 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 he got uh, 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 pistol charges when he was uh, uh, in high school and stuff like that. So he could have easily been deported. So how much of this is him like living reckless, living reckless? No, you just get extra. No, 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 knowing that yo, you know, I could end up getting deported if I live in this certain life. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, <clears throat> you know, I. I yeah. Should you be gang banging if you're an illegal immigrant? I mean, who who I don't know if his life offered an opportunity not to do that. I don't know what his situation was. Everybody I don't know got what choices, his, though. Everybody got choices. I feel you. Everybody has choices, but then also sometimes like you never know like what's going on. Like, no, what, I, like, I, I like, you. like, like you know what I mean? Like, what if his choice wasn't as easy to make as that? You know, and and based how upon, much of it is his fault? Based how upon his based fault? upon him saying that he's barely lived at home, he wasn't even home when he was yeah, fifteen. He's out here trapping, getting the crime. He's out here trapping. So what is his education? Like? What does he know? He seems like a smart guy. I mean, he seems like a. I think he has a good head on his shoulders, relatively. But I don't think he understand necessarily the, the the intensity. I mean, do, don't you think that after the first time he got caught up by the law and he didn't get deported, he went, "Well, maybe it just don't work like this," <laughs> and just kept yeah, doing probably, whatever. I would imagine. Yeah. He'd be like, "Oh, I thought but, this was but, over. But it didn't happen. All right, some, whatever." But sometimes chickens come home to roost on you, though. Know? Bars. So, <laughs> and, you know, I mean, and it looks like that's what happened. I, I'm not. I'm not celebrating that. By okay, any I'm not going to say that. 21 is 100 percent innocent in the whole situation. Okay, that's all how I'm about saying. that. That's I'm not saying, saying that, yeah. but I think that mm-hmm. more energy needs to be concentrated on fixing things around 21 than necessarily going at 21. So free him and yeah, free, free Lula and free Lula. Damn it! Like what he can't he he can't talk to anybody except for like what? 10 the minutes? detention centers are well, 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 it's a the, shame. The, the, the immigration detention centers are the worst fascist thing in the world. It's insane. But 
going back to immigration laws, like, yeah, they are very complicated, and, and they're complicated in a lot of places. Caesar, try to take your ass to Canada. No, I agree. I know it's, it ain't I know, easy. I know it's they don't. They don't want it's you. It's even complicated in Brazil. I get it. Like, yeah. it's hard. Like, let's keep it real. I got into America, but for I've been in America alone with my mom my entire life. Don't think that my grandma and my uncle have not tried to come to America and have been denied. Yeah. They've never been allowed in. So it's different for everybody. So and it's was, complicated. Who was here since when? Last week. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah, I got no. I got four weeks left, I mean, so whatever. Even with Canada, like it ain't easy to get no, yeah. citizenship. No, they, know, they, they, you better have like a two hundred and fifty racks in the bank or something like that for them to want to be like They have the reason they're gonna stay. Yeah. So I mean it's not easy to go. You have to like check off like, Oh I got family that's Canadian and like it's not easy. No, no it's not, no, it's not, saying, not like, even they have, like a whole list of stuff. That. There's stuff that's like there's stuff that's like, Oh, you have to have like some kind of like land you have to like have a reason that you're gonna stay here, land here. Money. Oh, do you have enough money that can be allocated towards here? Like it's weird. It's really weird. And, and 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 they just open all the borders. The earth, leave the earth open for everybody, man. I mean, come on now. I don't know. If, you know, I I, open I, I go back and forth, but but like I think that there needs to be resources put into the immigration, like the federal immigration process, so that these things can happen a lot faster. Uh, and and honestly, I feel like if somebody immigrates to America, if you're committing certain crimes. Sorry, you gotta go. No, absolutely. Is yeah. nobody trying to do all that? Look, I, and I, and if, if twenty one savage before he was twenty one savage before anybody knew yeah. who it was, but in two thousand fourteen, if he had gotten deported, I'd be like, well, damn, dog, you caught a caught a drug trade. That's how I go. Yeah, because I'm I'm like I said, I know he takes part blame because even when I was a child, my mom told me when I got into middle school and I started hanging out with my friends, she said, look, you're having fun with your friends, do something stupid with them. We might all have to leave. Yeah. And I remember hearing that. And it wasn't like my mom saying it to scare me. She sat me down, looked me in my eyes, said, you can't, like, if you go to jail, doing this kind of stuff, they can kick us out of this country yeah. and we got to go back. Yeah. And I remember being like, I don't want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, you don't, and, you don't, and you don't want to be the reason your mom No, no, no. Either. The biggest thing what was, was like... Again? Yeah, the biggest thing. Is, yeah, the biggest thing is you don't want to be the you don't want to be the the problem. Like you don't yeah. want to cause the mom my mom to do all this uprooting. Yeah. You know, yeah, exactly. of course. So yeah, but free free twenty one free twenty one regardless. And I think that it's I, I'm really interested to see after of this what happens afterwards. What's going on? Well, I think I, he's gonna get dipped. I think you think you think it's done for. I think he's gonna get dipped. I don't know his lawyer. I saw that lawyer's name. He might be good. Oh, someone uh, that lawyer uh, name uh, looked kind of strong. Someone someone was uh, telling me that uh, who who the person name him? I'm not gonna name him. No. <laughs> No, someone was telling me that uh, the hip hop game in you know in, in the UK is actually pretty big, but it's mostly underground. He said that he's probably gonna if he does get sent back, he's gonna end up getting even bigger. He said Takashi was doing that. He was doing underground. He was getting bigger over there before he got bigger. Takashi was very big in Europe. He was bigger uh, yeah. in Europe okay. than he was here. Uh, but but in the so, UK specifically, it's a little bit different than oh, the rest okay. of Europe. In Europe, uh, okay, I'll just say Europe. He'll be he'll be He said, he said, he said, he said that he'll make he'll make it so big over there and then come back afterwards. I don't know if you can do that. I mean, say, once you get you don't get to come back. But I think the I thing is, that money, I, no, you don't get to come back. It's, it's <laughs> well, not. I don't know if he gets deported to the UK. He might be able to come back. Slick Rick got deported. He, uh, he was able to come back. Well, I don't know. I don't know. He didn't commit a crime. But, but who? Slick Rick? No, no. Slick Rick did, and he was able to come back eventually. Okay, so look, the thing is, is I don't think that maybe, like the the UK. I don't think the uh, rap is necessarily underground in the UK. I'm pretty sure it's well, big and huge. No, no. Well, they have, they have a big scene. I remember saying to Bam on the phone, th- like this this could work out in his favor. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, going that might even be bigger because Lord mm-hmm. knows that all the comments for the UK starting to claim them. You know, they were excited mm-hmm. to do that because we all know how the uh, UK <laughs> guys, they're excited to get an American up there. They're really hyped to get somebody American and cool up there. So, also, 21, you know, we did this video and we do support you. So, can I, can I get a shirt? That Zone 621 Savage shirt is really fresh. <laughs> I, I want that jersey. It's clean. I want a free band shirt. Anyway, uh, episode 93. <laughs> get, one from, uh, uh, get one Mass- from Bass. He probably got mm-hmm. five. Episode ninety three made a podcast. Um, very, Longest very episode long. ever. It might be. Um, shout out to Tark being here. Um, we made a podcast dot com. Everybody podcast on all social media. Holla, chip, peace, free Lula.